South Africa is a beautiful country with a rich history and diverse culture. But did you know that it's also a popular destination for international fugitives? In this video, we'll explore why South Africa is a haven for fugitives, and look at some examples like Bulgarian Krasimir Kamenov, who was gunned down recently in his home in Cape Town, along with his wife Gergana. Krasimir Nikolaev Kamenov is a Bulgarian national who fled his home country in 2017 after being accused of embezzlement and fraud, as well as his suspected involvement in the murder of a former Bulgarian police boss named Lubomir Ivanov. He arrived in South Africa and applied for asylum, claiming that he was being persecuted in Bulgaria, and despite being on Interpol's wanted list, Kamenov was able to live freely in South Africa for several years, until someone caught on to him. On the 25th of May at around 8 a.m. in their upmarket house in Constantia, Krasimir, his wife Gergana, and two of their employees were shot dead execution style. It appears that this was a planned hit, and the way the suspects gained entry and executed the victims suggests that this was done by professionals. Prior to this, he was wanted for murder of the interior minister in Bulgaria. Um, so he was on Interpol's list. Cape Town is no stranger to gang violence and hits, but high-level international fugitives being assassinated by professionals in broad daylight came as a bit of a shock to the local community. We'll make a full video about the Kamenov story when all the details are clear. But for now, let's look at why international fugitives like Kamenov choose South Africa as their hiding place. Firstly, South Africa has a relatively weak extradition system, which means that it's difficult for other countries to get fugitives extradited back to their home countries. This often causes cases to go on for years before an agreement is made. Secondly, South Africa has a large immigrant population, which makes it easier for fugitives to blend in and avoid detection. The cost of living is also much lower, and a much more expensive lifestyle can be enjoyed. And finally, South Africa has a reputation for corruption and a lack of law enforcement, which makes it an attractive destination for those seeking to evade justice. Knowing that criminals can buy their way into our country might even be the biggest attraction of them all. But Kamenov is not the only international fugitive to have sought refuge in South Africa. There's Ajay Gupta, a member of the Gupta family, who are accused of corruption in India and state capture in South Africa. I'm not a politician. We are the businessman. We want to do business also. We only want to do a business. Gupta fled to South Africa in 1993 and has been living here ever since. It was only when state capture recently came to light that the Guptas decided to flee. Or Radovan Krejcir, a Czech national who was convicted of fraud and kidnapping in his home country. Should they be worried for their safety? Of course not. Do I look like a evil or I done nothing wrong in my life? Krejcir arrived in South Africa in 2007 and was able to live freely for several years before finally being extradited to the Czech Republic, 11 years later in 2018. How about Manuel Chang, a former Mozambican finance minister who was arrested in South Africa in 2018 on charges of fraud and money laundering? Chang has been fighting extradition to Mozambique and has been living in South Africa ever since. And lastly, Teodoro Nguema Mange, the son of Equatorial Guinea's president who was convicted of corruption in France. Manga fled to South Africa in 2016 and was able to live there for four years before being extradited to France in 2020. While South Africa may still be an attractive destination for international fugitives, it's clear that they can't hide from the law forever, and whether it was local hitmen or international professionals that orchestrated the hit on Kamenov, it's clear that people are starting to take action. As the country continues to develop and strengthen its technology and justice system, it's likely that more fugitives will be brought to justice if their own countries don't get to them first. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.